This is the Ioneo Air Plus i3 1215U, originally pitched as a low-cost gaming handheld, not specifically for AAA titles, but more as an affordable way into Ioneo handheld PC ownership. It was announced way back in May, I think, 2022, and with early bird pricing of just $269. Now, unfortunately, that price was way too low. Sometimes when you see a price that's too good to be true, it usually is. But Ioneo, true to their word, did indeed release a small batch of 100 of these devices at their early bird Kickstarter price. And I was one of those lucky enough to snap one of these up in the three minutes it took for the Kickstarter to sell out. Yes, it's been suggested online that it took just three minutes to sell out every one of those incredible early bird discounted units. Now, I don't know what the retail price of the Ioneo is in its native country, but in China I believe the device has been selling quite well. That suggests to me that it's still being sold at a pretty affordable price. It's totally dead in the water, however, for the rest of the world, as the regular discounted price is $600, making this budget handheld more expensive than a Steam Deck, which completely destroys the i3 in performance. So why should you buy one? Well, frankly, you shouldn't. It's absolutely worth $269. In fact, it's a steal at that price, but at $600, it's daylight robbery. So why are you still even watching this video? Well, I'm glad you stuck around this far, because I have a feeling that most of the original batch of 100, and maybe quite a few of the Chinese market ones, will be circling the worldwide market soon enough. So should you buy one second hand? That's the question. Well, in my view, if you can pick up an unmolested one for around the original $269, it would be well worth it. But be wary of any units sold with more than the original 128GB NVMe. Why? Because it's become apparent that opening up the Air Plus and replacing the NVMe can be, shall we say, problematic. Particularly as many owners have reported issues with sound once they've upgraded. The reported failure rate of sound is particularly high on the 6800U model and less likely on the 1250U model, but it's not impossible. This may be because the sample size is so much smaller for the 1250U. So what's the 1250U like to game on? It's actually pretty good if you temper what to expect. Now I'm currently working on a long list of PC games that work well, and also those that don't work very well. And you've been watching some footage of these games that do work. More impressively is BeamNG Drive, which runs surprisingly well. Now a separate video on that will land, hopefully over the weekend, prepare to be impressed. I hope watching this video has encouraged you to keep an eye open for snapping up one of these units for yourself. Stay tuned for more videos on i3 powered Air Plus, I'll be comparing and rating against other handhelds in a future video, and I'll also be carrying out thorough testing in emulated games. And if there's anything you'd like to see tested, drop me a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.